Redfeather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to use the fill pattern function with the rectangular, ellipse, and polygon tools. Open Krita, create a new canvas. Before we begin, if you have never used the fill pattern function, you may wish to familiarize yourself with the patterns and possibly choose the one you would like to utilize. Once this is done in Krita, and as you will notice, if we just click on the rectangular tool and place it on the canvas, the fill pattern is not present. In order to solve this in Krita, having the rectangular tool highlighted, in the toolbox, go to the Tools and Options. Notice where it says Fill. Click the drop down menu and scroll to Pattern and click. Once this is done in Krita, go to the canvas, click hold and drag to create a rectangle. Once you release, notice the inside of the rectangle is now filled with the Krita pattern you have chosen. So let us choose a different pattern and add some color to it. Now let us move on to the Krita Ellipse tool and choose yet another pattern. Once this is done, and you have clicked on the ellipse tool in the toolbox, go to Tools and Options, clicking the Fill drop-down menu, clicking on Pattern. Then go to the Credit Canvas, creating an ellipse. But this time, let us use two different colors using the Bucket Fill tool and the Color Picker. First, we will choose blue and then red. Now, let us choose yet another pattern. And then, change to the Polygon tool. Go to Tools and Options, clicking the Fill drop-down menu, clicking on Pattern. With the Create a Polygon tool, click on the canvas where you would like to start. Go to an area you would like to make a direction change and click. Go to the next area of the direction change and click. Keep doing this until your polygon design is complete and you meet with the start of the polygon. Now, notice the Krita fill pattern inside our polygon design. It's very important to set these settings back to the way they were, unless you would prefer to leave them like this. Also, you may have noticed the other Krita functions within this drop-down menu. We are leaving these for you to experiment with on your own. Once this is done in Krita, add some background color if needed and some text. Merge the layers and export as a PNG. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro 
and outro of this video has been created by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.